Hey everyone, welcome to Math 146 Online. This video will go through Module 1 and how that works and how to navigate the system and what to expect. So I'm going to go in student view so you can see we went through the getting started module already. If you did not see that, you can read the welcome message and find a video there or um, in the getting started module, you'll see the video message right there first. If you've already gone through, you don't need to go back and watch the video, you've, you're all set. Um, for week one, we have data collection. I tried to put some estimates on there just so you can judge your time, but uh, this one's a little bit lighter content really because you're doing the getting started it's really a judge so minimum maybe six hours some people it might take 10 hours in general i think the course is probably um, going to take about 10 hours a week five hours would be instruction and videos and participation that kind of stuff that you would have in a class <clears throat> and then some follow-up homework that usually takes people maybe five hours some people might take a little bit longer um could go up to maybe you're spending 15 hours a week on average i think that's um probably a little more but some weeks you're gonna have less going on in your life and others you're gonna have more going on so I will get things posted a week or two at least in advance so that you can um, have some flexibility there. I would make yourself a calendar of when you're going to work because as you can see everything is just due on um, a weekly basis. So the first week everything is due on Tuesday, January 17th. So in general that's how it works, that's the pattern. But I might suggest splitting up like the lecture maybe you do on <clears throat> the Tuesday um, after you've submitted everything, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, then you're getting into your homework. Maybe you're going to do that Thursday, Friday. And then by Monday and Tuesday, you should have your written work. And you will have unit quizzes. So on weeks where you have that, it's really important to make sure that you have some study time. It's all online, um, nothing proctored. But still, if you're trying to look through all your materials while you're taking a quiz or doing like a written assignment or something it gets overwhelming so i suggest just making like a note sheet of sorts with the highlights having everything organized and ready you can reference all your own notes um just don't google answers is what the you know idea is that you're doing your own work but you can look stuff up you could even um they are timed but you could even you know go read something in the book or whatever um and you do get additional tries so you will have a lot more coming um just right now you know there's i'm just making sure everybody's on track for week one and you would just start here and you have some videos you're gonna Play the video lecture. You might want to print out the lecture PDF. They're really uh, nice companion sheets. You don't have to. You could do it on a tablet or just on your plain paper, but it has definitions and pieces of information, charts and things like that that make it a lot easier if you just print it. And this is like your notebook and it's a workbook and it's really a nice setup. Okay, so that it's organized. Students usually do really well with that. The playlist, I'll open in a new tab. This is from my colleague, um, Julia Trude. And so using her lesson videos for this, the same way I would do it, I watch them all. So if there's any questions about them, let me know or if something doesn't line up, but it should all be in alignment. Uh, my videos that I do are more for support of of the participation packets, the written work, um, your homework problems. You can request videos, all that sort of stuff. There's plenty of support. 
Uh, reading the test textbook is a great idea, either before or after the videos. I find a lot of students like to do them after. Uh, they'll reference some, some like to preview ahead and then they know it's coming. But a lot of times people will be like, oh, what was that thing again? And they'll look it up or they'll kind of go through some more examples that are similar. You do not need to do any of the exercises, problem sets, <clears throat> take any notes from the book. You're not going to submit anything from the book. The grading for your videos is based on completion, effort, and attention to detail. So they should be looking um, pretty complete, thorough. Uh, here's the outcomes that we're looking for, like the topics and skills that you should come out with. There's some extra resources and this is how they're set up basically for everything. Um, and here's just a little note about the scheduling. And if you need help scheduling, let me know, but I would not wait until Tuesday to try to get everything done for that module. Uh, judge your time accordingly and my timing of like six hours it might take you to do that whole module really could be 12 hours for you it's just it's just an estimate so be thinking about that when you are going to submit all this so how you do that is you actually click start assignment which is a little bit of a misnomer for our class maybe other classes it works that way but this is we're actually going to just submit. So you would write up all your notes, you're going to scan them, and then you're going to convert to a PDF file, and there are directions in your getting started module on that. And then you're going to choose a file. I'm just going to randomly pick a file here. Um, Okay, so I've gone in and chosen my file. You can add other files. It's best to have it in one document, but if you do need to add another one, you can just click there and pick, you know, whatever um, file that you've labeled. You can also do it through the Canvas app. If you want to make a comment, say, I want to, I, or I need help on number three or something like that whatever it'll go right to me um, try to be a little specific as to what your needs are I didn't understand this from the lecture can you give me another video or can I see something written or can I meet with you in zoom to discuss it so it's just like trying to simulate you're in a class you're taking notes you're going back and forth with the instructor so that's what the comments are about but you do need to submit something to do that you can go to your grade book though and submit from there you can open anything and um, submit even if you haven't submitted anything yet you could submit a comment this way okay So now to get back here, I just hit modules page. Anytime you get lost, just click home or modules and you'll get to where you need to be. Uh, and then you can see where I got my check mark over here. And then I have, after I do my lessons, I'm going to do the participation worksheet. So there's two formats. There's a Word doc and a PDF. You can write in a Word doc and then just um, convert to PDF to upload. I just like everything uniform in PDF file. It's a lot easier to grade and things. But if you want to type into a Word doc, you can. Or you can even download this and use Microsoft Edge and you can type on top of it and submit that way as well. That's up to you. But there's just some questions here very similar to what you did in the videos. Again, if you need help, let me know. Um, here's back to the assignment. I like to right click and open things in separate files just so that it's easier. Um, here's a rubric on how you're graded. Okay, so they should be checked against the key when there is a key available. This one, there's not a key yet, but you can ask me for questions, you know, ask me questions. This one, I'll be um, pretty 
light on accuracy because you don't have a key. And then on this one, if you go back to modules, because I just moved on without submitting, it's not going to give me the checkbook. So I know if I just kind of looked at it and didn't actually do it, I didn't submit it, then I won't get my check. So I know I need to go back and do that. But say I just want to wait on that and I want to skip around a little bit, like I can do that. So here's the um, electronic homework. And you can just start. Here's your instructions. If you ever need to go back to them, you can skip around problems. Um, clicking done here, just, you know, it saves what you've done so far and you can go in and out and re resume. But clicking done here means you're done with the whole thing. So that when you go to modules, you'll get your um, check mark. But I haven't finished it yet, so I really shouldn't click that. That's really for your own information, but you can see well, it'll auto save and you can jump in and out. So for the modules, you're not step locked like you were for the getting started for the regular content modules. Um, for written assignments, it's basically the same as the participation, except you don't get the answers. It's kind of more like a little, um, kind of like a quiz. You shouldn't be having someone else heavily help you or um, Googling for answers, all that kind of stuff. But you can get help from me. You could work in a study group. You could get tutoring on it. So that's where it's like a little bit different from, from a quiz. But you should be able to um, do most of that on your own with looking for some resources. And here's just some extra resources I always put here. The data collection key for participation is available a week after it's um, due, but you can get it sooner if you upload and you want to check it before you go on to the written. Just request that in the comments. Say, I would like to see the key soon. Usually I try to get in there and grade them and, and make everything available. So let me know if you have any questions, you'll see more content coming. But if you want to know the layout of the course, that's right here on your home page. You can just look down the line and see your units You can know when you're having a quiz or a project, which week that falls in specific dates are in Canvas, but in general, it's Tuesdays. So I hope you find that helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.